Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to one-shot zones with the Aspect of the End. So, this is the Aspect of the End I'm going to be using right here. Everything you see on this sword is absolutely necessary to one-shot the zealot. You need 20 hot potato books, you need all of those enchants, and you need a spicy reforge. The spicy reforge, you could probably do without, but it definitely helps. It adds 18% crit damage, which is kind of a lot. So... As I mentioned before, the hot potato books, they're kind of difficult to get and a lot of people would try to skip out on them because they're difficult to get. But before I put these hot potato books on, I was probably doing 8,000, 9,000 damage. Now I could do the full 13.5k damage required to one-shot the zealots. Which is pretty good. I mean, it's an aspect of the end, it's an easy sword to get. So I cannot stress this enough, the hot potato books are pretty necessary. The next step is your full godly ender set. You should have an ender set now if you're looking to one-shot zealots. If you don't have an ender set, then you're probably not going to be one-shotting them anytime soon. Now, it needs to be reforged to godly. Some people will say that zealous can be a viable, I guess, replacement? Not really a replacement, but something you can use instead of godly. It really isn't. Zealous is like twice as bad or godly ender set is twice as good so you definitely want to reforge this to godly it's worth it now if you don't already have an ender set you can always get one off the auction house like this full set probably cost me like 100k in total which is not bad at all now probably one of the most important steps is talisman spam now you'll see here I have 9 talisman in my inventory I guess not including the piggy banks, that would be 10 in my inventory. And a full accessory bag. Now, the way you want to reforge your talismans is you want to get them on either godly or itchy. Again, some YouTubers will say that you can use zealous instead of godly. You can't. Godly's twice as good. So what you want to do is reforge every talisman you get to godly until you get 80% crit chance. After you get 80% crit chance, reforge them all to Itchy. So start out with Godly, then Itchy. Now the reason that you go to 80% crit chance is because of Critical 3. As you can see, under my active effects, I have Strength 5 and Critical 3 on. Those potions are necessary to one-shot Zealots. The Strength 5 gives you extra strength, the Critical 3 gives you plus 20% crit chance and a good amount of crit damage. Those potions are necessary. So, if I go to the end, that has straight up been everything you need to do to one shot the zealots. I don't think there's any other steps. So if I go over to one of these endermen, now these aren't zealots, but it'll do actually a little less damage than it would if they're a zealot. Okay. Yes, 13,800 damage. A little more than I thought it was going to do, actually. So if I go down here to the dragon's nest. Took a lot of damage there, but you see, 9,000 HP, one-shotted. It does the same damage to the 4.5k and to 9,000 damage, and it should do about the same to these zealots. So zealot right here, one-shotted, 13.8k damage, one-shotted. Now, if you are having trouble one-shotting zealots, which it's not an easy task if you don't know what you're doing. I would recommend getting the Raider's Axe instead. You don't need the hot potato books on it, but it definitely helps. Now, you can buy this at the Viking, at the, I believe it's the Spruce Forest. So wherever you mine spruce wood. And yeah, just max out this sword or get all the important enchants. Now, all these enchants on here are necessary in except Fire Aspect, Looting, Scavenger, and telekinesis. So all those enchants are necessary, except the ones I listed. Now spicy, this is an epic sword, so it gives plus 32% crit damage, which also helps one-shot zealot significantly. So if I go over to this zealot here, as you can see, 14.6k damage. That did about 12k, but they have more defense than zealots, so that makes kind of a lot of sense. 
I'm about to get swarmed by the and defenders. And as you can see, they were hard to hit, but I took them all out quite easily. Now, a big plus to using the Raider's Axe instead of the Aspect of the End is that with all the gear that I have, I can use Farmer's Boots instead of the Godly Ender Boots. So that means I can run really fast. Not as fast as the Obsidian Defenders though, because they're Obsidian Defenders. By the way, they need to be nerfed. Say, so yeah, I can use the Farmer's Boots and run super fast with the Raider's Axe, but I cannot with the Aspect of the End. At least I couldn't last time I checked. I did get a Talisman, so I might be able to one-shot him now. But I believe I did like 12, yeah. I cannot one-shot him with this Aspect of the End. With Farmer's Boots on. So... Again, I recommend the Raider's Axe instead of the Aspect of the End, because it's actually easier to get, and it's better. It does more damage, and I could increase the damage even more. If I get more kills, it'll increase the damage, and if I mine more trees, it'll increase the strength that I get while holding this. So, I could max this sword out way more, I just haven't yet because it requires a lot of work. Also with this Raider's Axe, it gives me 100 coins per kill, which is a lot. I mean, an hour grinding here, you get like 50k, 100k coins, along with maybe one or two summoning eyes that you may have gotten. So, that's going to be my tutorial on how to one-shot zealots with an aspect of the end, or raider's axe. I hope you enjoyed, I hope this video helped. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you later. Bye everyone!